What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective Seed Toro's Lesson 9, Part 1, Structures. Now, this lesson will actually be starting out in Xcode first, build a small little program, then we'll be going into Keynote to learn about structures, and then we'll implement what we learned in the program. So, first go to Xcode, File, New Project, Command Line Tool, and then make sure that your type is Foundation, because some people last time didn't choose that as their type, I think, and that's why they're having problems when they compiled the program. So hit choose, then just name it Vacation Budget, and then save it. Now go to vacationbudget.m and delete everything inside the braces. And here we go. First, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make a budget of a thousand dollars then we're gonna take a hundred US dollars out and then we're gonna take a hundred euros out so first you need a float for the exchange rate and then the exchange rate for a euro is about 1.20 and that's not exact but it's a round there and then a thousand dollars for the budget and then oops, double then we need the euro transaction and then budget we're gonna take one hundred dollars out and then we're gonna declare this in NS log converting one hundred US dollars into euros leaves uh, percent point two F budget okay so we took the hundred US dollars out now euro transaction equals 100 times the exchange rate which is 1.20 and then budget minus equals euro transaction and we're gonna show this in NS log charging 100 euros leaves dollar sign percent dot two F budget and that is all to building the little program so now hit build and run save all after it's done compiling here's what you'll have converting 100 US dollars into euros leaves $900 because you took the hundred dollars out of a thousand and then charging 100 euros leaves 780 because you took 120 out of 900 so real simple program and we're going to learn how you can kind of divide it up and make it easier to modify in the future with structures so we're going to head next or we're going to head into keynote now okay so here we are in keynote going to be going over structures so data structures what are they well all they are is just a group of related variables so you define them using struct which tells the compiler that this is a data structure and struct is actually a data type like in and double and then you need a name for this structure so you have structure name there in the example the name for the struct and then inside the braces are the different members so the different variables and then structs can actually be members of other structs but a struct cannot be a member of itself so you can't put struct name inside a struct name and then after the last brace you close it out with a semicolon now implementing them how do you get access to those variables in other parts of your code well whatever function you need those variables you just uh, say struct and then struct name and then you also have a struct variable that you can use whatever it doesn't need to be the same it's very it's different than the actual struct name and how it works is you have struct variable dot 
and then member variable equals five. So that's how you get access to particular variables inside the structure. And all this will make a whole lot more sense once we go over it in code. And you can have many different struct variables for one struct. So that's why there are struct variables. So you can have access to these different variables in two different places from the same struct. So now let's go into Xcode and we'll code some structures. Okay, so here we are in Xcode and we're about to set up a structure and you set up the structures outside of main. So first off, you start off with struct and then the name of this structure will be budget. And actually to differentiate it from the variable budget, we're going to name it the budget. And then the um, variables that we're going to declare, we're just going to declare them inside the struct. So exchange rate, then double yeah, budget, and then double euro transaction. And then after the brace, close it off with a semicolon. And then we need to put in in main, we need to declare the struct variable. So you do struct, and then you put the struct uh, name, the budget, and then the variable. So why you, again, I went over this a little bit in the keynote, but again, why you need to, or why you need a variable for this struct, you may say, why can't I just uh, use the struct name? Well, it's if you wanted to use this budget for like, let's say different countries. So you could um, do the United States dot exchange rate and then England dot exchange rate. So you wouldn't have to set up a whole new structure for like different countries. That's why you use these uh, variables. So for this, the variable, we're just going to name it vacation budget. And now we can take off this float right here and then put vacation budget dot exchange rate. Right? And then again, take off the double vacation budget dot exchange rate right? or dot uh, budget. And then we can just take out this declaration altogether because we declared it up there in the structure and then just go throughout your program and change all of the variables with this uh, prefix vacation budget dot vacation budget dot budget okay so we're all done with that now and now you can just build and run save all and as you will see, it's the exact same results as we got last time because we didn't really change anything that would uh, change the results. We just changed the actual structure. So it's a little, little bit easier to deal with in the future. We just put um, all the variable declarations in a nice structure. So that's all we did. And uh, you still get the result 900 and then 780 once you're all done. So that's all for this lesson and next lesson we'll be going over structures um, using type def. So um, you'll learn what a type def is and uh, how to wrap uh, or how to do uh, structures with a little bit less code. So that would be great. Um, thanks for watching and please subscribe and check out some of my other videos if you haven't already.